Thank you, Ashley. As of today, April 20th, 2011, in Milwaukee, we have a low of 34 and a high of 39. Down in Chicago, we have a high of 38 and a low of 34. Up in New York City, we have a high of 53 and a low of 44. And in LA, we have 67 for a high and 57 for a low. Air masses are classified in two ways, humidity and temperature. In humidity, the two ways of classification are continental, which is cold and dry, and maritime, which is moist and warm. Since maritime is usually moist, it is usually about to condensate. The two subclassifications for temperature is tropical, warm, and polar, cold. Towards the northwest of the United States, we have a continental polar. Towards the northeast, we have a continental tropical. A warm front is the front of a warm air mass. A warm front brings warm weather and condensation. It is picked up by jet streams and moves very fast. There is one warm front here moving towards Canada, and there is one warm front here moving towards Northern California. Cold fronts are cold and bring clear skies. They are also picked up by jet streams, but move slower because they are more dense. There is one over Texas and New Mexico slowly heading to Mexico, and there is one here heading towards the east coast in the Gulf of Mexico. When two fronts clash, it forms a stationary front, which doesn't move. It often brings storms. There is one here and here, clashing the eastern coast and the south coast with the Texas and New Mexico, and one here with the Texas and New Mexico. When water sits still in heat, it gets evaporated and forms into a cloud. The warm air can hold the water, but the cold air can't. Therefore, as the air turns cooler, it starts to condensate. Over here, the Midwest was heavily affected by this. In the North also had some light rains, and there were also a few dangling spots towards the West Coast and Florida. In southern Montana, we have two high-pressure systems, as well as one in the middle of Arizona. There's also one in the north of Missouri. There is a low-pressure system in the southern border of Nevada and California, and one bringing light storms towards the north of California. In the Midwest, there's two low-pressure systems bringing very heavy storms, and there is one low-pressure system in Texas. For those who didn't know, a high-pressure system is when the air molecules clump up and go down. This brings cold weather and clear skies. Low pressure is when the molecules are tired of being together and spread out. This causes stormy weather and warmer temperatures. Isobars is one way we measure pressure. Each isobar is separated by 4 millibars of barometric pressure. It keeps going down or up, considering whether you're over a low or high pressure point, until it reaches a number considerably close to 1013. 1013 is the most common pressure around the world, therefore not having an isobar. Thank you for watching the weather analysis of April 20th, 2011. Please stay tuned for Lisa Gruntman after the break.